Hey, what is going on guys? Lon here from Android Authority and we are live here at CES 2015 taking a quick hands-on look at the ZTE Grand X Max Plus. <laughs> So with a name like the Grand X Max Plus, you can expect a pretty large phone and that's exactly what you're going to get. As far as the design goes, ZTE didn't really do too much with this phone. It's essentially just a rectangular black slab made of polycarbonate, but it does feel quite nice in the hand and the build quality is surprisingly good, especially for a budget device. On the front of the Grand X Max Plus, you're looking at a massive 6-inch 720p HD display, which really makes this phone great for consuming media like watching videos, playing games, or even browsing the web. Even though it is 720p resolution stretched across a 6-inch screen, overall it still looks quite nice, and the large size also makes it great for getting some work done. Because this is a budget device, you're not going to get the latest and greatest processing package, but you're still getting the very respectable Snapdragon 400 and 2GB of RAM. Even though this is a relatively mid-tier processor, you're still going to get great performance with this phone, whether it's playing games, browsing the web, or even just swiping through the interface, you're not going to have too much of a problem using this phone, and you should be able to get pretty much anything you want done, whether it's for work or play. Taking a look at the camera, you're gonna find a 13 megapixel sensor on the rear, which should be capable of taking some really high quality images, especially with the suite of features that ZTE has built into their camera software. There's a pro mode for people who really wanna have a granular control over their photos, and there's also a fun and auto mode for people who just wanna be able to snap their photos really quickly and get on their way. On the front is a five megapixel wide angle lens, which not only makes it great for taking better selfies, but now you can fit a lot more people into the frame like your friends and family, which makes it great for taking what ZTE likes to call a groupie. With such a large phone like the Grand X Max Plus, you can expect a very large battery inside. So you're looking at a 3200 milliamp hour battery, and even though the battery life is untested at this point, you can probably expect this phone to last you through a full day, and possibly even more, especially when you consider that the display is still only 720p resolution. Finally, let's take a look at the software. The Grand X Max Plus is running on Android 4.4 KitKat, so it's not quite Lollipop, but hopefully we will see a Lollipop update soon, but it is running on the latest version of KitKat. On top of Android 4.4 KitKat is ZTE's own custom skin, which you will find to be very colorful, but it's also very easy to use, which is going to be great for anybody looking to get into a smartphone for the very first time, which is really what this phone is going to be all about. But there you have it for the Grand X Max Plus by ZTE. Stay tuned for more coverage of CES 2015. There definitely is a lot more to come. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of that coverage. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep it locked on Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android and CES 2015.